This video is going to be an unboxing video and a partial review of a Sedna M.2 Taseda port adapter. If we zoom in, we can tell that it supports software RAID. I want to flip it over and let people know I did cut the tape prior to videotaping. Otherwise, I'm opening this up for the first time. We see the component is really super small. The box is obviously bigger than it needs to be. The box is pretty rugged and durable though, and you can see it, it comes with five SATA cables. It's kind of nice that it has the SATA cables. On Amazon.com, it doesn't picture the SATA cables, so I was kind of surprised. There really isn't much included other than this thank you card. You should be able to see the device pretty easy, even though it's in an anti-static bag. This is what I was using prior to getting my new M.2 to SATA port adapter. This works okay. I've already tested it out. The hard drives work. I'm letting people know you don't need those brackets. It fits in really snug where I can just install this in the M.2 slot and it's not going to come out. It's a real nice snug fit. It works okay. There's reasons why I wanted to get this newer device and I'll explain that in just a minute. If you have a free PCI Express slot, you might want to get this particular device. If all your PCI Express slots are full, you might want to get an adapter like this. For just $13.99, you can get two M.2 to PCI Express adapters. I just want to show the specs on this device really quick. As you can tell, it says PCI Express 2.0 times two, which means it's two lanes of the old PCI Express 2.0 bandwidth. It says it again. It also says 400 megabytes per second per port with PCI Express 2.0 condition. But if we look at another card that's very similar to this one, this card has similar specs, but there's a little bit of difference. As you can tell, it's PCI Express 2.0 times two. So it's two lanes at the old PCI Express 2.0 bandwidth, but it says 520 megabytes per port under PCI Express 2.0 conditions. I'm not sure if either of the specs are 100% correct. I do believe these are using PCI Express 2.0 and only using two lanes. The reason I say that, if we look at the new device I bought, it says PCI Express 2 time, which means two lanes of Gen 3, which would be PCI Express 3.0. It states it again, PCI Express 2 times Gen 3 interface, but if we look at the bandwidth, it's got 1700 megabytes per second of bandwidth. That's quite a lot of bandwidth. It's definitely more than two lanes of PCI Express 2.0. Here's a device very similar to my Sedna M.2 to SATA port adapter, but it's a lot less money. If we look at this particular product, it's really super inexpensive compared to the one I bought. And it lets you know it's two lanes of PCI Express 3.0. Some products may give the illusion that they're using four PCI Express lanes, but they might only use two lanes. I have only done the unboxing video for this device. I have not tested it out. I hope it does work. I'm hoping it'll be a better option than what I was using prior to getting this new device. I plan on buying a couple of brand new hard drives and I plan on benchmarking these two devices running a striped RAID array. I don't know if my older setup will hit a bottleneck or not. I think it would depend on how many drives are striped together. The reason I think these two devices might have a very similar benchmark is because my new M.2 to SATA adapter will only allow me to stripe together five hard drives. I'm thinking I'll probably get a read and write speed of about 1,000 megabytes per second. The old system I'm using, the bandwidth only allows for about 1,000 megabytes per second. I think they'll be relatively close in the benchmarks. I can only imagine we'll see M.2 to SATA adapters with 8 ports or maybe even 10 ports hit the market within a year from now. If you want to see the benchmark results, it might be in your best interest to subscribe to my channel.